What up, Husky community? Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It's a flippin' flappin' Monday, which means it's the start of a brand new week. Time to get all freaky. He was like, dude, what's this thing on Britney Spears' arm? Why, why does he have, like, no hair right there like a non-hairy bracelet? In case you're new to the channel or you haven't watched any episodes recently, Britney Spears just got neutered. And whenever you're a pepperoni pizza and you gotta go into surgery, they often make you shave your little arm like this. The reason is because they give the puppos an injection. That's where the IV goes, kind of like in your arm, whenever you get an injection at the doctor or the hospital. Yep, it's true, Britney Spears got the old snip snipperoo. And a lot of you have been asking me a whole bunch of questions about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna answer those questions right now. One of the most common questions that I've been getting about getting Britney Spears neutered is, hey, how come you waited until he was two years old to do it? How come you didn't have it done when he was like a little itty bitty puppy? Like, I don't know, six months or something. I know my viewers probably have all sorts of different types of dogs at home. Not everyone here that watches has a Siberian Husky. But when it comes to Siberian Huskies, it's really important to let them get all of their hormones that are required for growing into adulthood. Siberian Huskies are a little weird. They look like they're done growing at about eight months old, but typically Siberian Huskies grow until about two years old. Now ladies will hit puberty and maturity a lot sooner than boys. And most of the time you're like, dang, you, you were so cute so long ago a little itty bitty husky pepperoni pizza. Now Gila here, she got spayed when she was about one and a half years old. I didn't wait the full two years to get her spayed because she is a lady and she did mature a little bit faster. Britney Spears, on the other hand, I wanted to make sure that he got all the testosterone that he needed, all the proper hormones that are necessary for bringing your pup into the adult lifestyle. If you get your husky neutered too early, it's possible that they could suffer from complications like urinary impotence. If you don't know what that means, well, that means you can't hold your pee-pee, bro, and that means you're probably gonna winkle in your pants. He's like, no, dude, I can't winkle in my pants. So I just was super safe about it, I made sure that I waited, took my time, and when I felt it was ready, I went ahead and I got Britney Spears neutered. So that's what we went ahead and we did. A couple days after his second birthday, he got neutered. And for those of you who are wondering how he's doing, he's doing just swell. He's all back to his normal self already and it's only been like four or five days. But in those four or five days, I have been busy taking super special care, making sure I pay super close attention to everything that he does. More times than not, these guys wanna get together and go crazy, try and fight each other, try and go absolutely nuts a -roni. Trust me, wrestling is Gila's favorite pastime event. So I had to like protect Britney Spears, be his bodyguard. Every time Gila was like, dude, let's, let's wrestle, I had to be like, no lady, no, it's not good. It's not good to wrestle. You're not supposed to be doing that or I'm gonna be booping you on the nose. And Britney Spears was a really good boy. For the most part, he just took it easy. He just relaxed. I put this towel up here. I put on some Disney movies. If your Husky's coming home from anesthesia, let them chill, let them relax. They're not gonna wanna go to the bathroom or eat an entire meal right away. Anesthesia kinda makes you constipated a little bit. And it also makes your tummy feel a little bit sick. So if your dog comes home from surgery and they haven't used the potty or they haven't eaten right away, don't freak out too much. Just call your vet, let them know, and remember, it's a traumatic experience getting neutered or spayed, or any surgery for that matter. Oh yeah, and by the way, all of the new t-shirt designs. They're gonna be out tomorrow. I'm gonna have everything out for you guys. Like I said, I'm really excited for these brand new t-shirts. They're definitely the dopiest dope I've ever doped. I'm just, I'm really excited to drop them for you. I can't wait. Oh my good golly goodness, do we have a special episode for you guys today. We're gonna be talking about three reasons why Siberian Huskies are the very best dog breed to own. You might be thinking to yourself, hey, you know, I, I kinda want a dog. My whole life I've been like, you know, I, I need a dog in my life, I want one. What kind of dog breed should I get, friend? In all honesty, that's all up to you. You gotta do the research, you gotta get on Googs, you gotta get on YouTube. I'm just the information aggregator, baby. I'm just gonna tell you why Siberian Huskies are the best and why they're better than the rest. So sit back, relax, grab a cold one, and get ready for another episode of 60 Formula where we find out three reasons why Siberian Huskies are the best dog breed in the whole wide world. Are you ready, lady? Are you ready? Let's go. You guys wanna just jump right into it? You wanna just jump right into today's episode? Let's go! Now you might be wondering to yourself, why Siberian Huskies are the best dog breed in the whole wide world. Girl, you got a cookie on your head. 
And my answer to you, number one, the very first reason, is that Siberian Huskies are full of personality. They're just so much fun and they tend to make your day brighter no matter what. Now, yes, of course, they're fluffy, they're cute, they're floofy, they're oh so adorable. But the thing about owning a Husky is it's almost like owning a miniature monkey. They know how to read your personality, they know what's going on all the time. Having one around is almost like kind of having a human being around a little bit. There's really never a day where a Siberian Husky won't surprise me by something that they do. Britney Spears and Gila are always making me laugh, always taking me by surprise with the crazy ideas and antics that they get into every single day. Now sure, you may say, well, um, well, 60 formula, you see, all dog breeds can have wonderful personalities. It's not just Huskies, son. All different dog breeds have very unique personalities, but Siberian Huskies seem to be the funnest, in my opinion. What's better than a dog that likes a little bit of trouble? Not too much trouble, not too much trouble, just, just a little bit. Just enough to make you go, ooh, you know, this is, this is way more fun than it's supposed to be. So number one on the board is going to be their personality. Siberian Huskies have one of the best personalities of all dog breeds. They're keen, they're in tune, they almost know exactly what you're saying whenever you're talking to them. And this is the reason why you can train them very, very well. Number two, they're super friendly dogs and other people love to be around them. People just love Siberian Huskies so much. They're one of those dogs that everybody wants to come up and approach and be like, yo dude, is that a Husky? So they're very approachable dogs. And not only that, they're great dogs for the family. He's like, enough of these glasses, dude. Let's tell it how it is. I can't tell you how many times I go out in public and people are like, oh my good golly goodness, is that a Husky? And I'm like, yeah, yes it is. And they're like, can I pet it please, it's so cute. So it's really nice that you get to share your doggo with other people. It's nice to brighten up other people's days and Huskies definitely do that. They not only make you happy, but they make other people around you happy and that's what you want out of a best friend, isn't it? You give me that. Oh, you give me that. Oh yeah, you give me that. You better give me that. You better give me that. Oh no, I want the piggy. I want the piggy, dude. I want the big dude. When it comes to Siberian Huskies and other people, sometimes it's true, they can be way too much, especially for little kids. Sometimes they're a little bit too out of control and little kids can get a little bit scared of them. Little bit, little bit, little bit. How much can 60 formula say a little bit? Also, while Britney Spears was getting all better, getting all healthy and well, I went ahead and put an air purifier in whatever room he was chilling in just so he got some fresh air and he felt better. I wanted him to get as healthy as possible, breathe in the freshest air ever because, well, whenever you getting well, you, you want to be comfortable, right? And this is why I use Bulex as my choice air purifier for whatever room I decided Britney Spears was going to be sleeping in. Bulex is a small air purifier, simple and sleek, and it keeps your air super duper clean. So if you have a husky puppy at home that's healing from an operation or maybe getting neutered or spayed, Bulex air purifiers are just the right size so that you can pick them up and move them to wherever your pup wants to get comfy. Bulex air purifier are a simple design so that they're easy to use and not only do they make your doggo feel better whenever they're recovering but they keep your home really really clean and nice having relatives come over or maybe you're just sick of all the dander in the air putting an air purifier in the room will fix that issue instantaneously dude these are crazy dope all you do is you take it plug it into the wall and up here at the top where it looks like a crazy engine it has all the buttons that are touch screen so you just push that and automatically it turns on. Look at that cool blue color coming from the inside. Ooh, that's really nice. You can change your different speeds, like maybe you wanna do two or three, and that's as loud as it gets right there. You guys can kinda hear it. I'll let you guys get closer. Do you hear the magic coming from within? You can also change the timing on the device. Maybe you want to have a timer on this. You don't want it to be running all day. You can also turn the interior light off by clicking the button, and look at that. Now it's all nice and quiet like. If you're getting a husky puppy or you just got one and you don't have an air purifier, seriously consider getting one. They keep your house nice and clean, fresh air all the time for both you and your pet. It's the healthy way to go. If you guys wanna check out a Bulex air purifier, we'll put it in the description down below so you guys can get all the information and check out all the things you need to know about these awesome air purifiers. They're super dope. And finally, number three, the third reason why huskies are the best doggy. Number 
number three is that Siberian Huskies make you a way, way better person. Now you're probably like, yeah, we get it. Siberian Huskies are energetic, so you get more exercise and in turn, you're healthier. We get it, 60 formula. But that's not just it. Siberian Huskies are a very schedule-oriented dog, which means you, yourself, are gonna have to get on a schedule. Schedules are super healthy to adhere by. Usually, if you get into the swing of having a schedule in your life, you're more healthy. You find time to get more sleep, and everything in your life tends to get centered and balanced. So not only do you get more exercise, you get more cardiovascular health, you start sticking to schedules. Schedules that make your life way more organized. And this all goes without saying the love that Siberian Huskies give to you. It makes you a much better person. So to sum it up, Siberian Huskies are one of the most lovable, affectionate, friendly, and sociable creatures in the entire world. Why wouldn't you want to get one? Now we want to stress that all dogs are created equal. There really is no best breed, but if we had to pick a favorite, it'd probably be the Husky. <laughs> if you guys had fun today, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe, baby, and the bell, so you don't miss any more Siberian Husky goodness. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, whatever we make. Peace. Watch out for that nose! Oh my god! <laughs>